I realized the other day, you know how when you wash your hands, uh, and I'm just now, it's where I wash my hands like normal people. I don't like have to be too careful about it. I washed my hands and I went, you know, <laughs> to, <laughs> to flick the water off of my hands. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, I, I don't have to do that anymore because that doesn't do anything. And then the other day I was listening to some really good music, you know, I was like, I was like snapping my fingers. And then I went, <laughs> like, man, nothing happened, you know? It's like, oh snap. <laughs> I'm gonna keep working on it though. You never know. All right, it's lunchtime here. We're just chilling for a few minutes. Thought we'd take advantage of this time to give you another quick update on the hand. It's been a little while since I've done an update video. And uh, so there's some things gonna happen to me here real soon. I'm going back to the doctor to have a second surgery. The reason is one of my fingers, my ring finger, the bone is really close to the surface of the skin. And when I bump that thing into something, it hurts like, you know what, okay? It's pretty bad. And it, it's not going to get better over time. It's just going to be like that forever, unless I get it fixed. So I was at the doctor last week. I said, hey, hey, you know, this is, you know, continuing to be a problem. So I got scheduled going in in about a week. And uh, they're going to cut all the way around here where it originally was stitched together. They're going to do this thing where they call it taking the roof off. <laughs> I didn't really like the sound of that. But anyway, they're going to open it up. He's going to get out his grinders and his files and rasps, and he's going to grind off the end of the bone, making it more rounded, and then flap it back together. Sounds pretty good, right? I asked him, I was like, man, is that, is that like the only way you can do it? Can't you do it? You know, like just make a little tiny cut and do it? He's like, no. But he's like, trust me, it's no big deal. And it bends here. backwards. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Nobody wants to see that. I did not know that. Yeah. Holy crap. Right? You could have really freaked us out. <laughs> okay. Another thing they're going to try to do. I have some really tight skin here. This is called your web space. And it, it's really tight. The skin is stretched tight. You can see the web space on my other hand here. It's nice and large and free. This is good. But this here is not good. It's kind of restricted and uh, it's really painful to stretch it. And they're gonna try to relieve that a little bit there and give me a little bit of more flexibility and mobility right there. So uh, that should be very helpful. So I've been waiting forever for my hand to get good enough to where I could go golfing. Now I used to golf a lot, but I work so much, I don't have time to go golfing. But anyway, I went and I uh, had a pretty good time. Actually, I didn't shoot too good, you know, I probably shot seven or eight on every hole, but um, I really had an awesome time. And uh, I'm gonna go do it again here as soon as I can, probably before my surgery, so that, you know, I can go have some fun before I get kind of put down for a little while again. Well, Eric and Jason had this great idea that instead of holding my normal, uh, traditional golf grip, that I should switch my hands and try to swing that way. And so I tried one time, one little swing, and man, the club like slipped out of my hand or something, and the edge of the, uh, the handle on the shaft like went across my hurt finger, and it was so painful, I almost had to lay down on the tee box for a few minutes and uh, kind of catch my breath. Anyway, I called Eric to thank him for that great idea, <laughs> as I then immediately switched back to regular grip and then hit like the best straightest drive of my entire life right afterwards. What happened to your fingers, Jono? I noticed you were in this thing. Uh, something snapped in my middle finger. I had x-rays and said it wasn't broken, but I think they're wrong. How'd you do it? Tightening the strap on top of my truck. It's not as bad as Jamie's. <laughs> <laughs> I just piggybacked mine to another finger. Hey, I think I got the best bunch of carpenters you could ever ask for. Not just that, but buddies. Arlo came up to me the other day and he said that he had talked to everybody on the crew. He said everybody be willing to donate one of their fingers to me, okay? Like, give me a finger, right? Like, have it cut off and surgically, uh, you know, installed on my hand. And I said, man, that's awesome. Uh, I tell you what, I want each of y'all's middle fingers, all right? <laughs> so that I got the biggest hand that anybody could have, all right? Did not ever agree to this. Arlo never asked me. Give you my middle toe. <laughs> now he said everybody on the crew but actually i would only need four i only need four so that means somebody gets out of it arlo's you know he's pretty old so maybe i, I should let him you know not do it 
Um, I need some younger fingers, you know, more like my age fingers. Mine are pretty much destroyed. I don't know. Arlo has the most experienced fingers, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're trained. But you're just going to immediately start into arthritis. Oh, yeah. no. Let's do that one thing. Too young for arthritis. Well, things are going great here at work. I'm using my hand a lot. And, um, you know, people say, wow, look at, look at all that you can do already. And I, and I agree, absolutely. Part of the reason is that I've been going to physical therapy every week. And I've got a giant list of therapy-related things that I do every day when I go home. When I sit down on the couch, it takes about an hour for me to actually complete my whole regimen of physical therapy. So I brought a couple of my little uh, gadgets and stuff, and uh, I'm going to get those out of the truck and show you what I do every day. Here we go. I got this three-pound weight. And uh, what I've been doing is the wrist this direction, the wrist this direction and then i think they call this the hammer something you should be good at that yeah yeah that one and then after i'm done with that no i do each of these exercises until i can't do any more because i'm so tired i do the bicep yeah and that helps your hand it feels good well my whole arm lost like muscle uh, when i was out for like two months oh and i didn't do anything with this arm so my whole arm it has been affected really so uh, i got the biceps and then the uh whatever that one is tricep i call it the back of the arm <laughs> you do that one you know until you're numb all right let's move on i got this awesome gripper thing i already broke the rubber bands off it i need to actually put some bigger ones on there you're supposed to use tougher rubber bands the stronger you get so right there that's just to uh Work on my gripping strength. That's pretty good. You know, it's not very hard because the rubber bands need fixed up, but do that until, you know, my hand goes numb. Can't feel that anymore. Then I got this awesome stretchy band here. This you can use for tons of things. I, uh, I can put it on my forehead. Yeah, it's a Brett Michaels bandana. So uh, I do it like this and then I exercise the side of my wrist i kind of get it hooked on my pinky there a little bit kind of do that motion there and stretch i put a little more force in it stretch that way and then i do like this and then i pull up with my wrist stretching that way pretty nice and then uh, i can do my thumb like this and work on my thumb strength super strong and even backwards that's, I got another tool mm, for that. That though. does look hard right that, there. That's hard. I have another thing for that. Uh, so that's about all I do with the band, you know. <clears throat> then I got this awesome putty right here. <laughs> it doesn't taste very good, but it's really good for your hands. Oh, I hope this paint doesn't stick to it. Picked a great day to do some painting here. Anyway, take the putty. Make a nice little hot dog out of it there. And then squeeze between those fingers. Squeeze to that finger, squeeze to that finger, and the pinky, and that one hurts the most. And then I would roll it up and repeat that about 20 times. Then, to strengthen my thumb, I put it in here like this, squeeze that, fold it up, do it again. Just keep repeating that about 20 to 30 times. And then the last one I do with the putty, is make a little loop around my thumb and pull upward like that, hmm. making my uh, thumb stronger there using the resistance of the putty. Just kind of do that over and over basically till I get tired. So uh, that is basically it besides doing some stretching and pulling of my fingers down. And um, this is doing uh, some stretching on my tendons and maybe some other things, I don't know, but uh, the key to this, they told me, is low load, long duration. So I'm not pressing very hard, but I will hold them like this for, you know, several minutes at a time. Two to three minutes, maybe. And then I'll let off, kind of wiggle them around, and then do it again for another couple minutes. It's really helping. I've, I'm almost getting to the point to where they are um, going far enough now. It's not quite there. Um, I'm also doing this thing where I kind of work my knuckles up and down. Sometimes it takes somebody else to do that for me. Uh, either my therapist or my wife can 
you know, work the knuckles up and down, that helps. And then also spreading my hands and working on stretching in this direction. So uh, doing that, and that, that's working out all right. These two are kind of stuck together a little bit too much, like I was saying earlier. And I'm hoping they're gonna be able to uh, relieve some of that tension there. Doing that, supposed to do this, stretch my wrist. That helps out a little bit. And then this way, and kind of stretch my wrist, kind of push down a little bit. That's stretching, I can feel that for sure. Doesn't feel good either, by the way. Uh, that's about it. Woo! That's a whole lot more than I was expecting. So that's what I do every day when I go home. Sit down, watch a little bit of TV, hang out with my kids. I got all my, my stuff there where I sit on the couch. I just do that till I'm tired. <laughs> that took you five minutes just to show us like a sample of each one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I was watching a kid on YouTube the other day and he had half an arm and was swinging a golf club. Pretty good. So I'm not so impressed anymore no. with the no fingers and golfing. No. Okay. If you had no arm like this kid, it could be impressive. I have to agree. Well, that's going to be it for now because we got to get back to work. Thanks for checking the video out and thank you again for all the support from everybody. See ya.